Just try and avoid that bunker down the left. Um, second shot's going to play a little downhill. This is definitely not going down the fairway. It doesn't look good. I think it's going to be in the deep rough. And that one rolls just into the rough. Now you have to decide whether or not that ball's going to fly or not. He'll need to be strong with this. Greg, it's a hard game to play from the high grass. That, and that's where he's been more often than not today. Playing his third here at the par five. Should be safely on deck. And not too bad. It's about 23 feet away. He didn't hit the flag stick, but he still has a chance. Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. It's a very long putt, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. Well, you couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. So a tester from four feet. Well, that's a tough break with that miss right there. Just a shade over par, plus one. Back here at the par four 11th at Quail Hollow, set to tee off. What's the right game plan here, Frank? Oh, uh, there's two, really. That left bunker off the tee, it's about 265 yards to get it on the fairway, um, or 308 yards, 310 yards run out there. I I've seen players just try and carry the bunker, sort of set up a short arm, and I've seen players like Rory McIlroy just try and blast a driver with a hook on it. Um, both strategies have worked. Hmm, what a drive. Just tattooed that. So going well up the hill to that green will need to take an extra club here. part of this back nine and a good approach shot and now we'll have this for birdie you don't want to let this one get away this is about concentration and focus at this point oh, I thought he had that well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. Just trying to keep this round on track. Has that putt, stays at one over. Here we are now at the 12th, and Frank, this is a beautiful but dangerous hole, par four. It is in a number of ways. The hole bends gently to the right, which you'd think would favor a nice little fade, but... It, the fairway just seems to shrink up. I've seen this fairway missed by so many good players. Um, and plus it's yardage. 450 odd. Um, you can't really lay back too far, otherwise you've got too long for your second shot. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Appears to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a full melody now. We'll make birdie if this drops. So with a make, moves to even par. Here we are at the par three, 13th hole. It's 210 yards. What does it take here, Frank? It's one actually um, where you'd rather be conservative than aggressive here. And the reason why is this green tends to roll off at the back and the front and the middle there. So uh, it's just something that pitches more in the central part of the green is really what's required.
on the green in regulation. Oh, chance for birdie birdie. That was a good run right there. Almost went in. Uh, at least he's seen the line as it went past the hole. So just replicate that on the way back. Never a bad score on the card. That's par. Well, now we come to the really interesting 345-yard par 414. Frank, I'm thinking that if you're leading you're probably not going to try to drive this and take on the risk with the water on the left. But if you're behind, you have a chance to make up some ground. Yeah, I have it written in my yardage book, Rich, on this hole. Only good and bad things happen with a driver. Nothing in between. It just came out blazing. As soon as it hit the green, it was never going to stop. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. Pretty good shot right there. Settles in over the putt. There is a birdie, and he's now one under par. Now at the par five, 15 pole, 577 yards. Frank, you remember what Rory McIlroy did here in 2010, that final round, 62? I certainly do, Rich. That was an amazing run on the second nine. And holes like this, too. He just stood up here with a driver and just obliterated it down there with a nice draw, took those bunkers out of play and just set up a mid iron game's about rhythm. It, when you have good rhythm, it just looks effort, effortless. To hit the ball 300 yards through the air, that easy. Beautiful rhythmic swing right there and right down Peachtree. Frank, who knows, with a green mile looming ahead starting at 16, this might be the last great chance for a player to really make something happen. And Rich, you're going to have to get a very high second shot, something that gets up very quickly. And the reason why, I don't think there's a flat portion on this green. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. What a spectacular shot that was. They'll have a look at Eagle. Not a gimme, but well within his range. That putt, he moves to three under. At last, we have arrived at the start of one of the most daunting finishing stretches in all of golf. They call it the Green Mile, 16, 17, and 18 here at Quail Hollow. The 16th is a par four, 508 yards, Frank. And this hole was made even more difficult when they pushed that green further left to, uh, to bring the water more in play with the second shot. I mean, it's a great par four. It's strong in every single department. That's a good start to the hole, right down the middle. Got to be careful here. Downhill, he's got to time it good because your weight's a little bit more on your front foot. I think this one looks like it might have a postage stamp on it. Airmail City. Yeah, lick it. Send it. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. That's still not done. Um, a good third shot. Maybe get away here with par. So he didn't hit the green in regulation, but he still has a reasonably good chance to save his par, about 10 feet away. 10-foot putt left.
Frank, that looked good to me. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Locked in on the read and the speed. Now at minus two for the deck. Just two holes remaining here at Quail Hollow in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is the signature par three, 221 yards, the 17th. And they have a multitude of tees here. One of the new back tees is actually where the old 16th green was. And uh, um, if you think don't go left is the way to play, then that won't work either because right's not that much good. Uh, this is it. Stand on the tee and you better hit a good shot. This one doesn't look good. There's water over there. Oh, a bit unfortunate. Wasn't able to avoid the sand trap. You don't want to make a habit of it in the bunker again off the tee. So getting set for a greenside bunker shot. Frank, when I think of the great bunker players in the history of the sport, I think about Gary Player, Seve Ballesteros, who you knew so well. What did they do that made them so effective on these greenside bunker shots? They had an attitude for a start that was different. For them, it was they saw possibilities. And uh, they, they would imagine the amount of sand. Remember, because this is the only shot in golf where you don't have to hit the ball first. So they would really choose the amount of sand behind the ball, whether that was an inch or two. Aim the club at that and make sure they followed through. Here we are, the 18th hole at Quail Hollow. Simply put, Frank, a player needs to hit maybe his best tee shot of the day. Uh, I would agree with you, Rich. If you were to measure this hole from trees on the left to trees on the right, it's actually a, a really wide fairway, expansive land. But that creek that just meanders its way through the middle of the salt completely changes the nature of the salt. And consequently, you get the nail on the head. If you don't hit a good tee shot, you will rack up something here. And I've got no idea how big it would be. This is a good looking shot. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. For birdie. Finished with a final score of 69. Frank, just some great golf here today. Well, that's a round to remember. Not often you play that well and you feel like you were head and shoulders above the rest of the field. What a thrill to watch. And for Frank Navalo and our entire team, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now.